and coming to the precaution what are the precautions you have to take for a thyroid there is a lot of misconception that you should not be eating soya beans you should not be eating cruciferous vegetables like broccoli cabbage cauliflower or uh, brussels sprouts turnip or uh, leeks or kale or you can eat them but you have to cook them well because some of them may contain nitrogenic substances that's the reason you have to cook them well and you have to eat it and also there is one more misconception that you should not be taking whole grains because whole grains contain gluten it is garbage you can take whole grains and also coming to some people say you should not be eating onions you should not be eating berries so it is all garbage you can take plenty of uh, onions and uh, berries as well there is no problem and coming to the diet what type of diet you have to eat for uh, thyroid problem so you have to always consume low carbohydrate diet and you should have medium amount of proteins and fats in your body you have to have high amounts of minerals high amounts of vitamins you should take high fiber in your diet and also take adequate amount of water ensure that your diet has probiotics your food is always organic and you should eat a variety of foods you should not be sticking to only one kind of food every day and also you have to eat unprocessed food processed food is not good for health you have to always take fresh vegetables you have to take the food in less frequent intervals you should not be eating food continuously throughout the day and also it is advised to take intermittent fasting fasting is very good for your health and what you should not be eating do not eat genetically modified organisms or gmos don't include inorganic foods or artificial foods or you should not be eating artificial sweeteners or artificial colors and coming to food groups you have to reduce cereals and millets reduce cereals and millets as low as possible you can take plenty of pulses plenty of vegetables seeds nuts and also if you are above 35 years of age you have to reduce fruit consumption as well and also you can take plenty of meat eggs spices you can take and also condiments fats and oils coming to fats and oils reduce saturated fats uh, saturated fats are rich in uh, animal foods or mammalian foods but you can take plenty of fish coming to the oils uh, stop refined oils do not use refined oils always take cold pressed oils this is about diet and coming to the sleep have at least 7 to 9 hours of sleep there is no organ or no organ system in our body that is not rejuvenated by having good sleep good sleep is very important so your stress levels are decreased your autoimmune condition will also increase because of good sleep and coming to the exercise so there are plenty of exercise you can do so you can do first important exercise is zone 2 cardio exercise zone 2 cardio exercise is the minimum exercise you have to do and it is one of the most important exercise zone 2 cardio exercise in the sense you can walk you can cycle or you can uh, swim but you should be the intensity is so maximum that you should be breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose you should not be opening your mouth and start a respiration when you go into huffing and puffing or if you go into anaerobic mode of respiration what happens is their carbohydrate becomes a substrate but in order to burn fat in your body you should not be breathing through your mouth the intensity should be the carbon dioxide exhaling through your nose should be sufficient that is the maximum amount of intensity of exercise you have to do once you have mastered this exercise for a over a period of time at least three months then you can go with medium duration endurance or long duration endurance you can start on strengthening exercises you can start on speed related exercises power related exercises those are all at later stages but initially at least you have to do zone 2 cardio exercise and coming to the lifestyle so always live a stress free life whatever the stress may be in your life try to come out of it live in a place where there is no pollution and be as close to nature as possible in your life coming to the prognosis prognosis in the sense what happens when you don't get treated properly or if you are under irregular treatment for thyroid problem so it may lead to infertility you are not able to produce children it may lead into obesity or even heart attacks at some times there is a serious condition called myxedema what happens is your metabolic rate is seriously decreases your protein synthesis is decreased you are not able to use carbohydrate fat or proteins in your body your body is knocked with all the waste material there is no pushing the waste material out of your body so it accumulates in your body finally it leads to death so 50 percent of the people who are having mixed edema are going to die because of this disease we are physically located in Marikonda, hyderabad but wherever you are in the world you can take online consultation you can share your reports through electronic media we can ship your medication to your doorsteps wherever you are in this world 
we are shipping to all the continents in the world and also all the nook and corners of India. So don't worry, you can take treatment with us both in person and online as well.